Hello dears, welcome back. I hope you have watched the first two video lectures on a doll's house. Actually, the first two video lectures of the detailed summary of the one act play, A Doll's House. When the act two ends, we were anxiously waiting to see what is going to happen next. Will Crockster agrees with Christine Lindy? Will Nora save uh, from Crockster's back blackmail? So, what's going to happen next? So, we were anxiously waiting for that. Let's see what happened. Okay, so when the act three begins, Mrs. Lindy is shown. She is sitting in the Helmer's living room. Where comes Crockster? Yesterday, she left a nod to Crockster to meet her as early as possible. So that is why on the next day, Mrs. Lindy is in Helmer's, the new Star Wars house, and Crockster came there. And they started to talk each other. And she told him that, Hi, Crockster, I have a great deal to talk about. This is what she said. I have a great deal to talk about. So, it became apparent that Mrs. Linde once had a romantic relation with Crockster, but dropped them off in order to marry Mrs. Lindy, Mr. Lindy. And so, first of all, she said that I have a great deal to talk about. And before she proceeds with Nora's matter, she had to clear her side. Mr. Crockster. We were in a relationship earlier. But I'm sorry. I couldn't marry you at that time. You know that. My situation. My mother was sick. I had two younger brothers to take care of. So I had to marry Mr. Lindy at that time. Uh, by breaking our relationship. Ignoring your heart. And she also tell that now she wished to get back together with Proxter to take care of him and his children. So this is how the conversation between Christine and Dave, Christine and Proxter begins. First of all, she said, I have a great deal to talk about. And then she said sorry for what she has done earlier by marrying Mr. Linde earlier. Then she also said that I wish to have a new life with you, Proctor. I want to be the mother of your children. Hearing this, Proctor is overjoyed. Oh my God! I'm going to get a new life. Christine is ready to marry me. And immediately, Mrs. Linde. Here's the music stops. What was that music? Don't you remember? The practice was going on. For the party, both Nora and Toho is practicing. So immediately the music stopped. So Christine understood that they will be here at any time. So immediately she tells to Proxer that uh, about that letter which he left for Toho in the letter box. So, mentioning that letter, Crockston, he became suspicious. And he asked, Christine, what's your true motive? And she's, he, he is doubtful, probably. You are trying to help your friend Nora and he doubted her whether she is trying to cheat him again. Chudolapinina Puja, 
പച്ചവെള്ളം കണ്ടാലും അടയ്ക്കും എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് ഒരു തവണ അബദ്ധം പറ്റിയതാ വീണ്ടും എന്നെ കബളിപ്പിക്കാനാണോ പഴയ സ്നേഹത്തിന്റെ പേരും പറഞ്ഞ കൂടെ കൂടി എന്നെ വീണ്ടും കളിപ്പിക്കാനാണോ എന്ന ഡൗട്ട് കാസ്റ്റ് തോന്നി ആ കാര്യം തോന്നും യെസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ സെഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ സെന്റൻസ് ഷി സെഡ് വെൻ യു വെൻ യു ഹാവ് സോ യുവർ സെൽഫ് വൺസ് ഫോർ സം വൺ എൽസ് യു നവർ ഡു ഇറ്റ് എഗെയിൻ വെൻ യു ഹാവ് സോ യുവർ സെൽഫ് വൺസ് ഫോർ സം വൺ എൽസ് യു നവർ ഡു ഇറ്റ് എഗെയിൻ നമ്മൾ മറ്റുള്ളവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി നമ്മളെ ഒരിക്കൽ വിറ്റ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പിന്നീട് വീണ്ടും അത് ചെയ്യില്ല ഒരിക്കൽ I have sold myself for the sake of my family. Now, I am not going to do it again. And she said that, yes, I would like to help my friend Nora. That is why I am pursuing you. Take back that letter. But she continued her conversation and she said that, After observing the household of Helmer or have after observing the life of the couple Nora and Toward Helmer, she feels that Toward must discover the truth about Nora. See what Christine is doing? Christine promised to Nora that she will be help her because it is nora help christine to get that job so christine asked to uh, to all uh, proxy to uh, get back the letter but she also said that i think it is better to expose nora's truth before to all the dan guns and immediately proctor left the place then both nora and tobo they came down where they met mrs lindy three of them chatted for a while and without knowing to Tower, Mrs. Lindy tells to Nora that she has spoken to Croxted and then also advised Nora to tell her husband everything. Okay, I'm very happy to tell you that I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that. I have a suggestion for you, Nora. It is better to tell everything to your husband. Why do you have to hide it? For, for being a better couple, there should not be any secret between the husband and wife. They are one. Usually we say that in a marital life, both husband and wife, they are one. Even if you are not a man, you are not a man. So similarly, so then why you have to hide? You did everything for his own sake. And they left. So that conversation, uh and they and when mrs lindy left the place nora she was thinking whether i have to reveal it or not so at that time tower he approaches nora and he addresses nora as a prize possession please note that prize possession we have avane kittiya or gift namukku or sana own cheyanu enikku or sana kitti enikku or gift kitti enikku prize kitti that is my possession so nora say uh, tower said that nora you are my prize possession and he makes uh, sexual advances towards nora is there anything wrong in it no obviously not because nora is tobor's wife and he also said that dear nora when we are in public place i feel 
that you are my secret fiance you are a young bride so he tried to make some sexual advances towards nora and nora continues to protest she is not in a good mood for that and she said that i wish to be alone for a little uh, uh, i wish to be alone for some time cuz nora is disturbed she lost herself but unfortunately tawel didn't know about her mental condition what she is going through only she and christine know that and tawel is unaware of anything she said that oh, please please i'm not uh, interested so please leave me alone she said so next time dr rang he came back again she said always is there and tawel get annoyed that who is disturbing me who is disturbing us in our private moment and dr rang came he talked with them especially using some coded terms coded words and tawel didn't understand what dr rang was saying but nora understand what dr rang is saying actually he was talking about his son impending impending death okay and tawel was confused what are you saying maybe he is out of mind and tawel left the place and he goes to check the letter box ding 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 yes that crucial moment whether the nora secret will be exposed or not he goes and he try to open the letter box and he has noticed that somebody has tampered the lock using nora's helping yes who what done this somebody has uh, try uh, tampered this lock with your helping who did it he became very annoyed and nora said that it probably it is children maybe it was done by nora herself but she blamed the children usually this is happening at every home endengil ok cheyidha jorna pillar adikka ellam pillaro alle ke jodi then he opened the mail finally he opened it and he has seen two letters of dr ran with that black cross on them so seeing this letter nora explained that uh, dr ran he was unwell uh, he is going to die uh, so uh, i feel sorry for dr ran so nora tried to divert towards attention from crockstead's mail which he is uh, holding in his hand okay engane nu mattavathu kaanadathu appo aadime kanda endana doctor rangle letter aanu appo adinu nu maatta ingane shramichu kondirunnu toward listening uh, doctor rang's story he expressed his sadness of for dr rang because towards best friend dr rang is towards best friend but he added that when dr rang is no more we will be quite dependent on each other oh dr rang ya marichu poyo bhayanga sangadha okka parayan kaatane parayana kaari oh angire ang marichu poi kanjal നോറയും ടോൾവോളും അതായത് ഭാര്യ ഭർത്താക്കന്മാർ അവർ ഭാര്യ ഭർത്താക്കന്മാരാണ് ടോവോളും എന്ന് പറയും ദേ വിൽ ബി ക്വൈറ്റ് ഡിപ്പെൻഡൻറ് ഓൺ ഈച്ച് അതർ നമ്മൾ പരസ്പരം കൂടുതൽ ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്യും വിച്ച് മീൻ ദാറ്റ് ഡോക്ടർ റാം ഹു ഹാസ് ബീൻ പ്ലേയിങ് എ പിവറ്റൽ റോൾ ഇൻ ദ ലൈഫ് ഓഫ് ടോവോൾ ആൻഡ് നോറ ബോത്ത് ഓഫ് ദം സം ഹൗ ഈസ് ഡിപ്പെൻഡിങ് ഡോക്ടർ റാം ഫോർ സം മാറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇപ്പം നേരത്തെ ആണെങ്കിലും ഒരു പ്രശ്നം വന്നപ്പോൾ എങ്ങനെയെങ്കിലും ഡോക്ടർ റാങ്ങിനെ വലയിലാക്കി കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യാനാണ് നമ്മുടെ നോറ ശ്രമിച്ചത് അതുപോലെ ടോവോളും ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടായിരിക്കും അപ്പം വെൻ ഹീസ് വെൻ ഹീസ് നോ മോ ദി വിൽ ബി ക്വൈറ്റ് ഡിപ്പെൻഡൻ ഓൺ ഈച്ച് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ടോവോൾസ് തിയറി ദെൻ നോറ എൻകറേജസ് ടു ഓപ്പൺ ഹിസ് ലെറ്റേഴ്സ് he read the letter what he has to say uh, and he said that uh, his your dying friend so you open the letter and you read it 
എങ്ങനെയെങ്കിലും ആ ഡോക്ടർ റാങ്കിൻ്റെ എന്താ ലെറ്റർ വായിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യം ചെയ്യും ഓക്കെ യു ഗോ ഗോട്ട് യുവർ സ്റ്റഡി ആൻഡ് റീഡ് ദ ലെറ്റേഴ്സ് അപ്പം എങ്ങനെയെങ്കിലും ടോവേളിനെ അവിടെ നിന്ന് ഓടിച്ചു വരണം ലെറ്റർ കഴിക്കലാക്കാൻ പറ്റില്ല പ്രോഫസറുടെ ലെറ്റർ സീക്രട്ട് റിവീൽ ചെയ്യുന്ന ലെറ്റർ കഴിക്കലാക്കാൻ നമുക്ക് പറ്റാമെന്ന് മനസ്സിലായി സോ എങ്ങനെയെങ്കിലും ആ ലിവിംഗ് റൂമിൽ നിന്നാണ് ഇവിടെ സംസാരിക്കുന്നത് ഇവനെ എങ്ങനെയും ടോവേളിനെ എങ്ങനെയും അയാളുടെ സ്റ്റഡി റൂമിലേക്ക് ഓടിച്ചു വിടുകയാണ് സോ ഹി ബാങ്ക് ഓക്കെ ഞാൻ പോയി വായിക്കാം ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് വായിക്കില്ല അവിടെ സ്റ്റഡി പോയി നിന്നല്ല വായിക്കത്തുള്ളൂ So when he left the living room, immediately uh, Nora, she took the cloth around her shoulder and her shawl on his head and she was rushing out of the house. Now what to return? What is this? No. എത്രയും പെട്ട ആ ലെറ്റർ വായിക്കുന്ന മോമെന്റ് ഇപ്പൊ ഏതാനും നിമിഷങ്ങൾക്കുള്ളിൽ തന്നെ എല്ലാ സത്യങ്ങളും ഇപ്പോൾ ഇപ്പോ വെളിച്ചെത്താവും പ്രാപ്തിന്റെ ലെറ്ററുമായിട്ട് അകത്തേക്ക് പോയിട്ടുണ്ട് അതറിഞ്ഞ് തിരിച്ചു വരുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് തന്നെ എനിക്ക് ഇവിടുന്ന് ഓടിപ്പോണം ഒരിക്കലും എനിക്ക് ഇവിടത്തേക്ക് തിരിച്ചു വേണ്ട the moment that moment he came with crockstead's letter in his hand then she confesses everything yes it is true whatever he has written is true but i loved you but i loved you more than anything so she started to plead and towards said stop talking i don't want to hear anything at all you stop talking demon you are a ugly or ugly creature you did forgery and she addressed nora as a hypocrite you are a hypocrite you are a liar this is how tom wall responded okay kekamam patta kumara dekshapade adu enne ivide tom wall un cheyadu and he also blames nora for ruining his life and his happiness by putting him at crockster's mercy oh you you said oh nora you are saying that you love him okay you said that you did everything for me but i didn't know that i was living on crockster's mercy crockster he is an immortal man sorry no sorry not immortal immortal being so i was i have been living all these years under crockster's mercy no i can't imagine that that make him a uh, furious ingane urthinde deyal ala avan thanna idilano pinna njan jeevichada aa oru karyam ayakathra ngotha endha ഡൈജസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തില്ല അപ്പം അവന് മനസ്സിലായി എന്താണ് നോറയുടെ പ്ലാൻ എന്തായിരുന്നു നോറയുടെ പ്ലാൻ എന്തായിരുന്നു വീട്ടിൽ നിന്ന് ഓടിപ്പോവുക ബട്ട് ടോ വേൾഡ് റിഫ്യൂസസ് ടു അലൗ നോ ആ ടു ലീവ് നോ യു കൺ ലീവ് ഫ്രം ഹിയർ ഓ വട്ട് എ ലവ്ലി ഹസ്ബൻഡ് ഇത്രയൊക്കെ ചെയ്തു വാർത്തയൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞ് പ്രശ്നം അവിടെ തീർന്നു ഇനി നമുക്ക് കാര്യമല്ലേ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ക്ഷമിച്ചു എന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുന്നുണ്ടാവുക അല്ലേ No. He said that, Nora, you can leave home. We must pretend that everything was as before. We have to pretend. Everything is not like before. You, you cheated me. You are a liar. But I don't want to reveal this before the society. if I, if others came to know about this my reputation will be uh, questioned i'm a manager i have a reputation in the society so if something happen in my family so it will adversely affect my reputation so i don't want that and he said that okay anyway we have to pay his debt i will pay everything okay but we have to appear ourselves as a happy couple this is the condition to work put forward
Nora, she didn't respond. She remained calm, calm and frozen. So in that moment, she realized the truth about her marriage. Just what she was thinking deeply. So at that moment, the doorbell rings again. The maid, Helen, she came with a letter for Nora. She said, to her, Madam, this is a letter for you. But Tobit snatched it. Nora does not protest. Okay, let him read. It was a letter from Cromstein. He opened the letter, Tobit opened the letter and read it. So in that letter, Crofter writes that he has decided to stop blackmailing Nora. And he has also attached the promissory note, the proof of her forgery. Crofter, he listened what Justine said. So, uh, for Crofter, he wanted to lead a good life. So when Christine uh, agreed to uh, be his wife, he is quite happy and he has decided to stop blackmailing Nora. So he said that. So here is the promissory note. You relax and nothing will be uh, known to uh, Torvald. Be happy, uh, have a good life. This is how Crofter uh, wrote in that letter. So Torvald, after reading this letter, he relaxed himself home. So we are saved. So the proof is here and he immediately tear them off. And he announced a bad dream has entered. He is quite relieved. So his reputation is not under question because there is no proof and Crockstead will not do anything uh, uh, against the family. And toward he changed his attitude. He approaches Nora and he said, My square, my skylark, my, my dear Nora, we must go forward what has happened. Okay, let's have a new beginning. And she said that, I have completely forgiven you. Okay, let's begin our life again. I forgot everything. I have forgiven you. And he also added that, no, no, you can relieve me as your guardian, as your teacher, and you can depend on me. So earlier, our financial situation was not good. That is why you had to depend faster for the money, for my treatment. But now, I'm in a good position. I have a good job. Okay, so I'm here for you as your guardian, as your teacher, as your uh, as a, a person whom you can rely upon for a lifetime. Nora didn't respond. She goes to her room. She changed her costume, and she wore the everyday clothes, normal clothes. Tobin continued his talk. And he said that it is as if a man has twice made his wife his own. See, I married you eight years earlier. But after eight years, I came to know about the cheating you had done. I overreacted or I reacted. But now I have forgiven you and I have forgot whatever happened and I am ready to take you as my wife again. Not that thing, again. And he also said that, Nora, I am going to give you a new life as my wife, as my child. Okay, I am giving you a life. The life of Provide is not a year. I am in the life like as a wife. I am as a child. I am ready to 
take you back. And for the first time after this conversation, after this incident, Nora responded. She said that, Wow, Mr. Towal Helmer, my dear husband, for the first time in our eight years of marriage, we are having a serious conversation. Until this evening, I was unaware of certain things. And she said, have realized, have spent my entire life being loved not for who she is but for the role she plays. In my entire life, being loved, I am not a person. 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 Nora in the Victic or La Victor role in the Lavin's nature. What is the role? What is my role? Who am I? Yes, I'm a woman. Am I name is Adra? I'm a woman. I have a lot of roles. For you, I'm your teacher. For my husband, I'm his wife. For my parents, I'm their daughter. For my colleagues, I am one of their colleagues. So I have different roles. I am a single person. I am Adira. But I have different roles. So similarly, Nora, she is a person. But she has to play different roles in her life. She is a mother. She is a daughter. She is a friend. She is a wife. So she has different roles. She said that everyone loved me. Not as Nora. They all love the role what I have played so far. Especially my father and my husband. They considered me as a plaything. Hey, Tawol, you are my you are my husband. But you never considered me as a person. You always considered me as a plaything, as a doll. I was a doll for you. And she said that I was never happy in this doll's house. So she addressed her home or towels home as a doll's house. This is a doll's house. And she said that now she realized the truth. The life she had she has been leading. Uh, all these years was miserable. So listening this, Torvald admit that, okay, yeah, whatever you are saying, it has some truth. But he asserts, he comments that he asserts that, now it will not happen. Okay, uh, you said that I, I, I'm considering you as a doll. No, I won't do like that. Okay, I will consider you as a person. Let's have a new beginning. This is what Toval is saying. For about a new beginning. Nora rejected his offer. And she also said that, Toval, you are not equipped to teach me. Okay, you said that you will be my guardian, you will be my teacher, you will be uh, my soul giver, provider. No, I don't want that. She said that I will teach myself. You don't want to teach me anything. I will teach myself. So that I wanted to leave from this house. Tovar said that no, you can't leave. You can cut off all dependence upon me. You said that you are dependent to me. You are not an independent being, Nora. You have to depend on me. You are dependent on uh, me. She said, no, you can't dictate me. She is not ready to what Tovoli is saying. She said that, no, you can't. 
and I am not. I don't care about anything. And she said that I am not ready to do any sacred duties. He mentioned that Nora, you can't leave uh, all of a sudden. You have to perform certain sacred duties. What is meant by the sacred duties? Nora, you are a wife. You are a you are a mother. So you have to perform your duties. Uh, of you have to perform the duties of a wife and a mother. She said that no, I don't want. She said that I have equally important duty to myself. I have certain sacred duties to myself. Any given day, for just sacred duties, dear. Ningal paro na wife ay to amme ay to for a sacred duties na. No, 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 I'm not ready for that. And she, she no longer believes that. She is a wife and a mother above everything else. She said that I want to love you. I want to take care of myself. I have to fulfill uh, certain duties for my own soul. And she said that I was like a child so far. I knows nothing about the world. She was a, she because she is a housewife. She is, uh, she is, uh, she is dedicating. She has been dedicating her life for the sake of the family. So she said that now I wanted to know what is happening in and around me. I wanted to discover the world. I wanted to discover the world my own, and I wanted to discover how to live a life for myself. And Tovar said that, "Oh, you don't love us." She said, "Yes, obviously, I don't love you." Until this evening, I thought that I love you, but after this incident, I understood. I haven't loved you so far. Actually, I was trying to fulfill those sacred duties what you have said. So. I'm leaving. I want to leave. And she said that she was so sure that the world will try to cover for her. She had been planning to take her own life in order to prevent the world from ruining his. She said that even when Crockster is blackmailing me, she said that Crockster was blackmailing her, but she was sure that Crockster. Crockster's debt will be paid by Tovol himself. Crockster's debt will be paid by Tovol himself. Tovol will be paid by Tovol himself. Why? It is not to save Nora from this problem. It is to save Tovol from ruining his own reputation. He was sure about that. And Tovol said that no man can sacrifice his honor for love. Actually, the Nora's point is that whatever Tovol is doing for the family is not of love. It is for himself, and he is not sacrificing anything at all. So immediately Tovol said that I am a man. No man can sacrifice his honor or his reputation for love. But Nora said that yes, yes, you you said it correctly. But many women is ready to sacrifice their life, their honor, their reputation, their everything for love and family. So that is the difference between man. And woman, this is what Nora pointed out. Then Tovar understood. Nora is not going to listen what he is saying. So he tried for another negotiation. Okay, he said that you can live with me as my wife. Okay, so let's continue to live together in this house as brother and sister. See, 
a husband and wife. And husband is saying that let's continue to live under the single roof as brother and sister. So it is clear that he is saying all these things not out of love, only to save his honor in the society. She said, no, she rejected this plan. She said that, I don't want to see my children. And she said that, I'm leaving my children in a better hands than my own. My hands, I'm not a good person. I'm not a better person. You're a better person. So, I don't want to see my children. I don't want to see my husband. So, I'm leaving my children in a better hand. And she returned her wedding ring and keys of the house to tower. So, here is the ring and here is the keys. Okay. And she also said that, give back your ring. So on our marriage day we exchange this ring. So it is a symbol of our marriage. It is a symbol of our uh, 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 our relationship. So uh, let's give back each other. And she said that they will not contact each other. And she wanted to free him of all her responsibilities. As a Husband, you have to fulfill uh, some responsibilities uh, for me. So, I freed you. You are free now. And she said that next day, Christian will come. And now I am leaving. So, the one I am leaving right now itself. So, next day, uh, Christian will come and she will take my belongings from this house. So, I am not spending too much time here uh, to getting my belongings now. And toward us, now he doesn't have any words. He 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 he, he, sh he was shattered, and he asked her, Nona, he said, "You are leaving. Will you think of our children, or will you think about me?" She said, "Obviously, I will. Yes, I will think of you." You are not allowed to write to me. Somehow you will know where I am residing. But you are not permitted to write a letter to me. And she said that I don't believe in any miracle or some glorious thing. So if, if we want to continue our life as a husband and wife or if we want to continue a, a family life, something glorious should happen, something, some, some, uh, a, a mystery should happen. So, a miracle should happen. So, but I don't believe in it. So, I'm leaving. So, she leaves. So, finally, Nora Helmer freed herself from that surname Helma. So she now she is Nora, not Nora Helma. And she left the house. And over he couldn't comprehend what has happened. So so within a few minutes or within an hour everything has ended. So he was lost himself and a heavy door uh, or a, a slamming sound, a shedding sound of door is heard. So, which means that Nora left the place. So, this is how the play ends. So, this is what happened in Nora's and Togo's life. Whom do you support? Nora or Togo? What's your opinion? So this play can be analyzed from different point of view. It can be analyzed from a feministic point of view, from a uh, from the point of view of uh, uh, a domestic violence. So it's a lot of themes are uh, mentioned in this one. So I will 
give you a one detailed uh, lecture uh, on the major themes uh, of this play in another video. So I hope uh, now the entire one act play is clear to you. So unless you know the uh, story of the one act play, it will be uh, difficult for you to write the answers from this uh, play in your exam on your uh, examinations. Okay, so with this, I'm winding up this lecture. Thank you.